Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A standalone macro is a program that you create in a visual environment that runs a series or set of operations in a specified order. Macros will appear underneath the Macros category in the navigation pane in your database once they are created. For example, a standalone access macro could check the value of a form field and then open a corresponding report based on the value found in the field. When you write macros, you will need to know both the actions, what to do for each step within the macro, and the arguments, which are additional settings that specify more exactly what you want each action to do. To make macro creation easier, Access comes with a macro design window. To view this window, first click the Create tab in the ribbon. Next, click the Macro button that appears in the Macros and Code button group on this tab. This will open the Macro Design window and also display the Design tab of the Macro Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Next, you will need to select the actions that the macro will perform when it is run in the future. You can select the desired action from the drop-down that appears within the Macro Design window. Once you've selected a desired action, you will then need to enter the Actions Arguments. These action arguments are simply the additional settings that the selected action needs in order to function. You can enter these into the appropriate fields shown. Depending on the type of macro that you are writing, the arguments may vary considerably. Some actions simply require that you define more arguments than others do. Many have default arguments that you can change if you wish. Some arguments have no default value, but instead allow you to enter in your own expression. Also, some arguments are required for an action to work. For example, if you select the Open Form action, then you must specify the name of the form to open from the form name drop-down. Now if you hold your mouse pointer over one of the field names that are shown in the action arguments, Access displays help about the currently selected argument in a pop-up window. Now if you selected an action that you do not wish to include in your macro, you can remove the action from the macro by simply clicking the delete button that looks like a small x in the upper right corner of the selected action. To complete your macro, you simply continue selecting actions to perform from the add new action drop down below your current action and then specify what arguments that selected action needs. Once you have finished setting all of the actions and arguments that you want the macro to contain, you will have completed your first macro. It's just that easy. Now once you've created a macro, you should save it so that you can run it in the future when needed. You can do this by clicking the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar. Give it a name that will help you remember its function within the database. Now running a macro is easy. You can right click on the name of any macro from the list displayed in the navigation pane and then click the run command in the pop-up menu to run the program. You can also simply double click on the name of a macro shown in the navigation pane to run it as well. Another way to run macros in Access is to open them in Design View and then click the Run button that appears in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Macro Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Now editing a macro is easy as well. Simply right-click the name of the macro to edit within the navigation pane, 
and then select the Design View command in the pop-up menu that appears to display the design view of the macro. Here you can change the macro actions and arguments as needed and then save it again in order to run it. Now once it's operating appropriately, you may want to consider adding the macro to a command buttons on click event within one of your forms so that your users can make use of the macro within the data forms in Access. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.